Yo. Come on in. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> Come on. Good, yo. Get in on this. And don't worry about this. Don't worry about this. We're just telling the story right now. So, what I wanted to do was tell the story of all the emotions I went through. Who the fuck's phone? Is that me? <laughs> oh shit, hold up. Oh, oh my baby's FaceTiming me right now. That's Rowan right there. Yo, there's Rowan. That's my little baby that I was home with. Hi, baby. It's daddy. Daddy loves you, bud. <laughs> Can I call you back? I'm doing an interview. My man. That's good. Get in, baby, baby, and daddy. I'll call you back, okay? Talk to you soon, okay, babe? <laughs> Welcome everybody to the Kings Without Crowns. It's a blessed one show. Blessed one show. Have fun. Let's play. Oh yeah. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. And that's how I came up with Gold Bricks. <laughs> hey, no, no, no. Let's tell them the real story. Though. Okay, so tell me and the Dias story. were <laughs> at the Huntington Beach, and we were skating on the beach the day before freestyle session. We're staying at the fucking Mike the Cure's house with all the knuckleheads. Everyone's chilling. I was feeling good. I was feeling like I could do anything. I feeling like I could take on the world. So we were skating. And I was looking at the beach and it was so beautiful. And I just got captivated by the beauty of the ocean. <laughs> I didn't bring a board with me, so I brought a, I bought a board at Jack's Surf Shop, send me some shit. And I was looking at the beautiful ocean because I was born by the ocean. So like my soul came out of the depths. Message! Oh! Yo! <laughs> this shit is hot! Keep that pizza warm. Oh, yeah. I got you. So what happened? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the beach. I'm just like, the ocean just caught me for a minute. And then I just leaned forward. And I fell off my shit. Oh, he acted loud. Except for, a great I was going at least 60, 700 miles an hour. And I, <laughs> I tried to go into a b-boy roll, but it was too quick. So bam, bam, bam. Broke my hand, broke my arm, broke my elbow. You These kids were looking at me like, oh shit! And I got up and I was like, nah, kids, it's cool. And they were like, <laughs> he was like, we were worried. <laughs> no, because they were like, we're kids, we haven't seen that much traumatic shit, so we were worried about you. I was like, there's nothing to worry about. Dude. So I go, nah, it's cool. Let me just get a drink. I went up, I got a drink. And then uh, I was like, yo, this, maybe we should um, get some ibuprofen or a sling or something. <laughs> Arm pumping, yeah. My arm bro. started pumping, bro. And then on the and then on the drive back to Mike's house, it was just like, no! Oh, that's why he has that fucking. The yeah, thing. That's oh, right. exactly. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. I was so like, I what happened. In the morning, I woke up and I went to the free clinic. It's not really free, but it's free to go in there. But you got to pay to leave. <laughs> they go, they go. Yo, your, your arm's broken. They put a cast on it from my wrist all the way up. It was a full arm cast, just like this. So I went to freestyle session like this. <laughs> Yo, what's crazy is you went early in the morning. Yo, I did. I went to the clinic at nine in the morning and then I got back. a cast on and drove straight to freestyle session. <laughs> you came back with a cast, yo. Wow. <laughs> and then, like a robot cast. Like. But the illest shit was, the, the cool thing about it, the part that had me relaxed and not worried was that like, Yo, I was just gonna have to DJ in front of Cool Herc. No big deal, right? The guy who basically invented what I do for a living, which is break mixing. With one arm. No pressure, right? Biggest day of my life. So, I had to DJ with one hand battle style the whole day. So, I had to break mix like this. Bam, 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 bam. Because my other arm was just like useless. Yeah, it was crazy. Check my Instagram, I'll take a picture of it. He took a picture of it. But yo, the thing that was cool Message. was <laughs> I went home and uh, I just had a baby, a uh, little Rowan Austin Fox. Shout out to Rowan, shout out to MX. And um, so now I'm at home and I have this baby and uh, I have this broken arm and I just finished up my whole tour so I wasn't going anywhere. So I'm sitting at home. And while I'm sitting at home, I'm like, yo, I want to make music. 
And I want to make music that tells the story of everything I went through. Alright. Not necessarily like, this is the story of what I went through. But it's like, yo, this happened, this happened, this happened. It's like, no, I wanted to tell the story of the emotion. What up? The emotion of everything that happened. The, the vibe that I felt skating with my brother all day. We've been skating all week. The vibe that I felt right when I crashed. The emotion that I felt when I thought I was good. The emotion that I felt when the pain sunk in and I realized it was terrible. The fucking disappointment that I felt in the morning when I knew shit was fucked up. And then just kind of overcoming all of that and being like, I'm not going to let my hero down. I'm not going to let Freestyle Session down. I'm not going to let B-Boys down. I'm going to DJ with one fucking hand. I don't care. And then the emotion of going home and having to rehabilitate it. Because the thing is, I broke my elbow, my arm, and my hand. I did rehabilitate my entire arm. My cast was on forever. I lost all my muscle. I lost all my range of motion. I could not move my arm. I had to rehabilitate this shit for six months. And the whole time I was doing that, I was making music with this hand, trying to express that emotion. And that's what Bone Breaks is. Everybody has a story like this. Everybody has a story where they go through something. It doesn't have to be the most traumatic thing in the world, like somebody passing or anything like that. But we get these obstacles and we have to get past them. We have to get over them. And uh, it can be emotionally and physically trying on you, you know? And I just wanted to tell the story that we all go through that roller coaster of emotions, all the things that we feel. And I wanted to do that with music. And since I was with B-Boys, since it was a B-Boy jam, since it was everything I was doing was re uh, surrounded by B-Boys, I wanted to also make it B-Boy music too. So that's what Bone Breaks is, that's what the Bone Breaks tour is. It's not the craziest story in the world, but it's my story and everybody's got the same story just like it. We're all b-boys, we all hurt ourselves, we all go through stuff and we all have to bounce back and work hard and fight back. Just to like, to, to make ourselves feel normal again. I just want to send a shout out to everybody. <laughs> Spread love b-boys, b-boy forever. Real love DJs, no cuz Cali, them team, Mash Hall. I love you guys. Thanks for riding with me forever. I will never stop making music for you guys. Shout out to Ways of the B-Boy. Yeah, that's what I Right up, 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 right up